Hi, this is Chef Mike Palmer, and welcome to this special edition. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about E. coli. E. coli is a gram-negative bacteriality uh, aeronautic rod-shaped rod bacterium of the genus uh, E. coli is commonly found in the lower intestines of the warm-blooded uh, organisms. Now what you see on the bottom is what the E. coli looks like. Alrighty. Um, let's talk a little bit about the history about the E. coli real fast. Then we're going to uh, go on talking about uh, everything else about the E. coli, the symptoms, and so forth. Um, who discovered the E. coli? Very simple. Theodore von Esserwitz. The German bacter uh, bacteriologist discovered the bacteria E. coli back in 1885. The bacteria commonly known as E. coli can be found in the human intestinal tract that comes in the multiple forms. Only one uh, of those are completely deadly. Um, e. coli is the only two uh, microns in length and one micron wide. It is a rod shape and covered with a small pillow for mobility. Also, it's widely known for its lethal capacity of E. coli 015787H7. Um, it is the most common and dangerous strand of E. coli and it is found in the feces and also in the meat. When the milk, solder, water, sawdust, and even the air comes in contact with the foul, uh, cow feces, they may become contaminated with the E. coli. Now the meat is the primary source of the infection and the humans. Um, the contamination is also caused by the direct exposure to the fecal matter of the cattle. In order to kill the E. coli 015787, the contaminated material must be cooked at a 160 degree Fahrenheit or higher. In the United States alone, each year, possibly 73,000 people are infected with the symptoms of the E. coli 015787 toxicity and 61 people will die from it. Globally, the E. coli globe will reduce the number of the people who suffer from the E. coli 015787. Dr. Theodore was born November the 29th in 1857 and died February the 15th, 1911. He's discovered the bacterium uh, E. coli which was named after him in 1919. Um, the, he was the first pediatric infectious disease physician and he was the first physician that opened its up, opened up the first children's hospital uh, back in the day. The bacteria normally live in the intestines of people and also in the animals. Most E. coli are harmless and actually are an important part of the healthy human intestinal tract. Some of the E. coli are pathogenic, meaning they can cause uh, illness either in diarrhea or illness outside the intestinal tract. Most types of the E. coli that can cause diarrhea can be transmitted through the contaminated water or food or through con contact with animals or persons. The E. coli consists of the diverse group of the bacteria. Pathogenic E. coli strains are catalyzed um, into the pathotypes. Six pathotypes are associated with the diarrhea and collectively are referred to as diarrheogenic E. coli. Sugar tea toxin uh, produce an E. coli, abbreviation for that is STEC, may also be referred as to viral toxin produce an E. coli, that's V T E C, or intermotor. Uh, Morphonic E. coli, E-H-E-C, 
I know I uh, tore that word up. My bad. Sorry about that. Um, this pathotype is the most commonly heard about in the news in association with all the foodborne outbreaks. But some of the E. coli may cause bloody diarrhea. Some strains of the E. coli bacteria, such as strain called 055, I mean 015787, may cause severe anemone or kidney failure, which may lead to death. Other strains of the E. coli can cause urinary tract infections or other infections thereof. E. coli can uh, get into meat processing um, during the processing part of the meat. If the infected meat is not cooked to a 160 or above, the bacteria can survive and infect you when you eat the meat. This is the most common way in the people in the United States may become infected with the E. coli. Any food that has been in contact with raw meat can also be infected. Raw milk or dairy products, including bacteria, may spread from cow's arteries to its milk. Make sure you check the labels on all dairy products to make sure they contain the word pasteurize. This means the food has been heated to destroy that E. coli bacteria. Raw fruits and vegetables such as lettuce, alfalfa sprouts, or unpasteurized apple cider, or un other unpasteurized juices that has been in com uh, come in contact with the infected animal feces. People can uh, also become infected when contaminated uh, with the city or town water supply has not been properly treated with the chlorine or when people accidentally swallow the contaminated water while swimming in a lake, pool, or a canal. The bacteria can also spread from one person to another usually when an infected person does not wash his or her hands well after a bowel movement. E. coli can spread from an infected person's hands to another person or to an object. The main symptoms of E. coli is bloody diarrhea, stomach cramps, nausea, and vomiting. Some people do not notice any symptoms. Children are mo most likely than any adult to have this symptom. Symptoms usually start three to four days after you come in contact with the E. coli. Most people will get better about a week. They often do not see a doctor and they don't know mostly that they do have E. coli. The serious problems is pale skin, fever, weakness, bruising, blood passing and small amounts in the urine. If those happen, we advise you strongly to go to the emergency room when you get these symptoms. This could lead to death if not treated right away. Thank you for listening to this small segment about E. coli. Have a great day.